Triple E EDC back again with another night video. So this is the M1 from MechForce. Now MechForce, a couple of you guys may know, is uh, in the titanium torch market. They do some other EDC stuff. And uh, even though it sounds like a gas station knife brand, it is not a gas station knife brand. It's actually uh, extremely good quality. So uh, interesting to see them bring a knife to the market. The sales rep I heard uh, uh, says that they have their own OEM. They have two places, um, whoops, two places here in the States uh, and one overseas for manufacturing as far as the OEM goes. Uh, what you have here is titanium on the frame. You have marble carbon fiber here. There is a frag uh, titanium blue anodized version uh, of the insert as well. Um, and that's going to be on both sides, just like the marble carbon fiber is here. Both of them are going to be M390. Uh, and they are both available at DLT Trading. Um, check out the affiliate link below if you're interested in purchasing one. Helps out the channel at no cost to you when you use the links. Um, <clears throat> I think DLT right now, it might be the only retailer, or at least it was the first retailer, to receive uh, this knife. And then uh, I believe there are a couple others that are going to be in the pipeline receiving them. In any event, uh, sort of an interesting entry into the market. Uh, I will say that the ergonomics on this are quite good. Uh, at first, I, you know, it, I guess it took a, a second to adjust to them. It, they, they didn't sit with me um, perfectly originally, uh, but now that my, I've sort of adjusted to them, I actually really like the ergonomics, and I will say, uh, I'll, I'll say it's about an eight out of 10 on ergonomics, which is pretty good considering these are flat scales. Um, so again, uh, titanium here, you have a nice titanium backspacer with a lanyard hole on the back. Uh, the lanyard hole is, so, I guess it's a little bit like the Chris Reeve lanyard hole where you have sort of that, um, uh, sticking out of the out of the tail end, or this is the uh, Resco Goose Works, <clears throat> something like this. Sorry, guys. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So uh, again, you have a titanium milled pocket clip here, and you have um, your relief cuts here. So as you can see, the only two body screws on here, um, or the only two screws on here, are going to be in the steel lock bar inserts. Uh, the rest of the screws, including the pivot, are actually. Uh, under the scale here. So it has this hidden screw design. That's one of the main appeals of the knife, which I think is pretty awesome. Also, uh, I like knives where the blade is hidden uh, completely in the knife. Uh, it's not the only type of knives I like, but I do like when there's that aesthetic there. And this definitely has that. You have the um, opening hole there uh, as the only thing that's sticking out. Uh, for those who are wondering, the opening hole um, is functional but it is not the most comfortable um, opening hole. It's functional for the Spidey Flick. It is really not functional for an opening hole with a thumb. Uh, but it is a, a, a very nice flipper and you get a nice uh, drop shot action on this. As you can see, just a really, really nice drop shot action. Uh, and you have that nice M390 blade and it gets decently uh, thin behind the edge. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at you know, some other knives. Interestingly, the ZT0640, um, this is the Emerson, has a very similar blade shape, as you can see. Uh, and this is the new Osprey uh, from Oaks Works. Uh, this is sort of a popular knife going on right now. Uh, and this has an aesthetic a little bit like the Ferrum Forge Stinger, I think. And I'll do a separate review on this one, or at least the first impressions video uh, <clears throat> here soon. So uh, you can see sort of it has that nice drop point, um, classic drop point blade where it, you know, it comes to a, a pretty decent point with a, um, uh, a pretty, uh, I guess pronounced, um, drop before you get to a little bit of flat here, which is a really, really nice design for piercing and for cutting. So all those tasks that you need to do in EDC are going to be pretty good with this style of blade. Um, let's go ahead and do the paramilitary two and para three. And you can see really it is an e a good EDC size knife. Um, and then we're gonna do the Benchmade Griptilian and the Mini Grip. And since this is a first impressions video, I'm not gonna go overboard with these. All right, I think you can see the size comparisons there. All right. Um, one of the other things that I really like is some of the details in here. You can see the uh, mech force uh, there inside on the, on the backspacer. 
So, and then you can see the serial number. I have serial number 16 here. You can see the serial number on the, um, <clears throat> on the knife. So I really like the fact that we have that. I also really like the, um, the box uh, actually was nice to see. It was a, um, I, I'm sorry, I don't have it here. I actually did an unboxing video. It didn't turn out too well. So <laughs> went ahead and uh, redid it. Didn't adjust it to the knife. So um, the, the box is one of those, sort. it has a feel of those, uh, you know, iPod, um, what are you, AirPod or, uh, or Apple phone cases. You know, it's that, uh, it's that white cardboard that's like a little bit glossy um, and uh, very rigid. And then, you know, it has the uh, blueprint, I guess, of, or the design of the knife on, on there. And then uh, inside is going to be some instructions on how to service the knife and also some double-sided tape. So I believe these are held on by some double-sided 3M tape, uh, which I thought was interesting. I don't know if I love the fact that they do that, but uh, I'm sure they thought that through before they did it uh, since they included it. We'll just have to see how that holds up over time and whether or not when you take it apart, uh, you know, you can get more because obviously they only include one extra set. Uh, so that is one of the drawbacks of the knife. The, uh, the other, but as, as far as the rest of the box goes, the uh, authenticity card um, actually came uh, with, it, it's like a metal card. I'm not sure if it's titanium, um, but it's a metal card. It's always nice to receive a metal card. Uh, so... I really appreciate that as a um, uh, as something that they're doing. So overall, the unboxing experience was pretty nice, um, but I will say I was a little bit uh, taken aside by that double-sided tape that was in there, um, although it did explain sort of how these scales are on. Um, I think that may be it. The only other thing I'll mention here is the price. Uh, the price is a little bit hefty, but considering you're getting you know, a smaller OEM with a uh, really, really nice fit and finish. Um, the And I, I don't know if I mentioned that, but the fit and finish on here is very nice. You have the nice cutouts there uh, for your relief bar and uh, you have really nice drop shot action, as I said. Flips great uh, and cuts great. So what else can you ask for? Uh, 350 I think is a fair price. I don't, I wouldn't say it's an out, a screaming deal. Um, but there are some people that have posted that, uh, given the quality of this, uh, that the 350 is a screaming deal. I'll say, you know, this is a, probably a, a better quality than, than like a ZT, uh, and it, it's around what a Rayout would do, right, uh, as far as quality, which um, I think is, is probably around the price point, maybe a little bit higher, which is why some of those people think that there's a screaming deal there. Um, and some of you may have seen the misfire right now. So the only thing I'll say is the flipper tab is a little small. Um, but if you just remember to get your, uh, your finger behind there, really not a problem. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I'm enjoying this knife. Uh, this is, I'm not sure if this is something that's going to be permanent or not. Uh, but it's going to be sticking around for a while, I think, unless, uh, unless somebody cr claims it as part of a like major trade, you know, for, for a grail or something. But other than that, I don't plan on selling it right now, uh, and I do quite like it. So um, oh, that's the only other thing I'll say is that uh, this is the detent, um, the, sort of that secondary detent drop right there. You have to get it past there before it will drop shut, but once you do, it, it really does drop shut. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this has been a decent uh, first impressions video for you, um, and uh, I'll just show you guys a couple more before I head out of the... Um, uh, of the fact that you can flip it out here because I know someone was asking me directly about this who bought this knife uh, Whoops, I think I scratched the leather there um, if it can be uh, If it can be Spidey flick so just to show that person. Yes, it can and uh, You know, I don't know if you had one where your detent was a little rough uh, But the detent on here is also a little bit stiff for spidey flicking, um, but it can be done Thanks so much for watching. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button hit the like button hit the notification bell. Thank you guys for watching